In this video, I'm going to be doing some more examples of definite integrals and the fundamental theorem of calculus. So in this example, the first thing we want to do is find the antiderivative, capital F of X. And so first of all, we need to rewrite this so that we can apply the power rule for antiderivatives. So I would rewrite this as X to the one half plus four x to the negative one half and so we're going to have 10 x to the three halves 10 x to the three halves divided by three halves plus 4 x to the one half divided by one half and simplifying that a little bit we will end up with um, 20 thirds x to the 3 halves plus 8x to the 1 half. And now the last thing I would do is I would write this as 20 thirds times the square root of x cubed plus 8 times the square root of x. And then we want to evaluate this um, from the bounds, upper bound of 26, the lower bound of 9. So this is something we definitely want to go to Desmos to do. So in Desmos, let's put our antiderivative. And be very careful about writing that. So we want 20 thirds. And then the square root, SQRT, of x cubed. plus 8 square root of x. So that is our antiderivative. And so we want to evaluate that at 26 minus evaluate that at 9. And the answer ends up being 720.6. So the antiderivative evaluated is 720.6. And that is the answer to our definite integral. Remember, the answer to a definite integral is a number. The answer to an indefinite integral is the antiderivative. That would be this. But because of these bounds here, we have to take it to this point right here by doing this. All right, next example. Take a moment, see if you can figure out the antiderivative and evaluate it, and let's compare notes. So the antiderivative of this is simply five times the log of x. So remember this antiderivative could be written as bring the constant out times 1 over x dx. Ah, oh, that looks a little more familiar. And the antiderivative of 1 over x is log of x. So 5 times the log of x. We want to evaluate that from 5 to 4. So we definitely want to go to Desmos for this once again. So our antiderivative is 5 natural log of x, and then we're evaluating that from 5 and 4, so f of 5 minus f of 4. Make sure that you do these in the right order, upper bound minus the lower bound. And the answer is 1.11. So we have 1.11. Take a moment, see if you can find the correct antiderivative, and then evaluate the antiderivative using the fundamental theorem of calculus. Okay, well, the first thing that we need to do is get this in a form where we can actually apply the power rule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 10x squared and divide it by the square root of x, plus 10 divided by the square root of x. 
And so we're going to use our exponents here because the square root of x is really x to the one half. Using our exponent rules, 2 minus 1 half is 3 halves. So we have 10x to the 3 halves plus 10x to the negative 1 half, bringing this square root up to the numerator and changing the sign. <clears throat> From there, we need to actually find the antiderivative then. So the antiderivative is going to be um, 10 x 3 halves plus 2 halves is 5 halves divided by 5 halves plus 10 x negative 1 half plus 1 or 2 halves is 3 halves divided by 3 halves. That will become 4 x to the 5 halves, or that would be 4, square root of x to the 5th, plus 10 divided by 3 halves would be 20 thirds. Um, uh, let's see, negative 1, oh, I'm sorry, this is 1 half. This is 1 half right here. I hope you caught that. Negative 1 half plus 1 is, is 1 half. So this becomes 20 square root of x. And we want to evaluate that from 1 to 9. So going to Desmos, carefully entering the antiderivative of 4 square root of x to the fifth power and plus 20 square root of x. Double check, make sure that looks good. And now let's evaluate that at 9 and evaluate that at 1. And we end up with an answer of, it's not giving me an answer. I think I entered something wrong here. f of oh i see what happened i have an equal sign here there should be a plus sign hope you guys all caught that so once again f of nine minus f of one and we get an answer 1008 so the answer to this problem is 1008 so actually doing the new part of evaluating the antiderivative is pretty easy we're using desmos you're just saving yourself a lot of time of doing arithmetic okay once again take a moment Find the antiderivative. All right, so once again, we want to rewrite this as x, 8x to the, what would that be? 5 halves plus 9x to the negative 3 halves. And now finding the antiderivative of that, we're going to have 8x to the 7 halves divided by 7 halves plus 9x negative 3 halves plus 1 or 2 halves is still a negative 1 half divided by a negative 1 half. And so simplifying that a little bit, uh, we are going to end up with 16 over 7 x to the 7 halves or the square root of x to the seventh minus 18 over the square root of x. Evaluated 16 and 9. So in Desmos, we will find f of 16 minus f of 9. All right f of x equals, we want 
16 over 7 square root of x to the seventh minus 18 divided by square root of x. And we want to evaluate that at 16. There's that minus evaluating it at 9. And the answer is 32,451.7. 32,451. 32, 451.1.7. All right, one more. We did one similar to this already. So see if you can do the antiderivative. Okay, the antiderivative is going to be 4 log of x evaluated from e to the 7 and 1. So we have to find f of e to the 7 minus f of 1. So you definitely don't want to have to do this one by hand. So using Desmos, we have 4 natural log of x and then f of e raised to the seventh power minus f of 1. And we end up with 28. So the answer to this last problem is 28. All right, so hopefully by the end of this video and the previous video, my introduction to the fundamental theorem of calculus and definite integrals, you will be able to find, uh, evaluate an integral, find the definite integral and evaluate it.